Hello friends, in this video, let's see about error cluster data type. Error cluster is a predefined cluster. In error cluster, we can find the error status information of our program. So first on the block diagram screen, I am doing a right click. And here on the functions palette from dialog and user interface, I am selecting the error cluster constant function and placing it on the block diagram screen. And next again, I am doing a right click. Here from file input output, I am selecting open or create or replace file function and placing it near this error cluster constant function. The block diagram screen. Then I am connecting this error cluster constant to the error in terminal of the open or create or replace file function. And to the file path terminal of this open or create or replace file function, I am connecting a constant. And here we are going to give the file path. If I do a right click on it, and select browse for path the file that are stored on our system will get open here we have to select the required file so that its file path will get added in the constant connector to the file path terminal and next to the error or terminal I'm connecting an indicator in this indicator we can see the error status information as we connect this indicator it will also get added on the front panel this error indicator contains three boxes the first box contains the status the next is code and the third one shows the source of error. The status is in boolean data type, the code is in numeric and the source is in string data type. And we can expand the size of this indicator as much as we need. And now I am running this program by clicking on run button. So after execution we can see a green tick mark in the status box which means that there is no error in our program. Next on the file path, I am deleting new text from the file name new text document and just leaving document as a file name and again running this program. But now we can see a red cross mark on the status box since we have no file in the name document and the source box shows the position of the error. Okay, next we can continue this program in such a way that this error status that is whether an error has occurred or not be notified through a pop-up message. So first I am placing a case structure function from structure to its case selected terminal I am connecting the error out terminal to which we have already connected an indicator and now the cases of the case structure has become no error and error. First I am selecting no error case in the case structure and inside the case structure I am placing one button dialog from dialog and user interface and to its input terminal I am connecting a string constant. And in this string constant, I am giving no error. So that when there is no error in our program, this message will pop up. And then I am copying this one button dialog and string constant. And then I am changing the case in the case structure as error. And pasting both the one button dialog function and string constant inside the case structure. In this string constant, I am changing this no error into error. And now I am running this program. We can see error as a pop up message. Since we have error in this program, error case will get selected in the case structure and so error message has popped up. And again I am checking with the same file path which I gave before by doing a right click on this constant and clicking on browse for path and selecting the file here so that its path will get added. And now if I run this program, we will get no error pop up message as output. Since we don't have error in this program, no error case will get selected in the case structure and so no error message will get popped up. While doing programs, this error cluster data type helps to notify the error occurred in our program through a pop-up message or a warning message. So we can continue with another topic in our next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support. Thank you.